welcome to The Saved Show. This is your host, Justin Minger. This is an audio journal that I will update regularly. We'll cover things like faith, family, the latest topic on the news, pop culture, movies, you name it, we're going to cover it. All through the eyes of a Christian father, veteran, and someone who's trying to figure this out. If you want to support the show, please go check out thesaved.store. We have some some things on sale over there. Also, if you don't want to use money to support the show, please do share the episodes on all social media. If you find something interesting, let us know. Share it with those around you. It's the best way you can support us. Put on those headphones, kick back and relax. Remember, you are saved. What's going on, everybody? Fourth of July. Hopefully, your day is treating you well, celebrating your independence. Uh, all good over here. We've been, well, tidying the house, taking care of children, but it's all good. Rainy day, so what else can we do? We'll celebrate later today. I think there's a carnival in town. The sun's coming out. It's going to be a great one. Have some drinks and, uh, you know, do kid stuff still. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Thought it'd be fun to record on the 4th of July. And it is, it is fun. It's nice to have projects. Um, you know, that quote, a man produces more than he consumes. So here I am trying to produce. Definitely not producing more than I consume. But it's an everyday thing. Slowly but surely, we're going to get better. Recording in the office today. Got the Godwin's flag and I happen to be wearing the Godwin's shirt. All on the, uh, the store website. Check it out if you want to. Uh, if you want to get yours. The newest edition being the Life Day shirt, celebrating uh, the overruling of Roe v. Wade and Casey. So we're going to call it Life Day. Uh, go get your shirt if you would like to as well. But we'll, you know, wear that throughout the year and at least wear it once a year on June 24th. But today is the 4th of July, Independence Day for those of us in the U.S. of A. I'm not sure if anyone's listening beyond our borders, but they could be. Um, trying to get away from the whole veteran thing. Not that I'm ashamed of it, but just as I've talked about, distancing myself from thinking that the first adjective to describe myself is American. Which has been a pretty good change, I would say, and leading with uh, Christian, or at least someone who's trying to be more Christ-like, would be the, the first adjective or descriptor for me. Um, and then probably dad and husband and other things would come before American. And that's just the way that I've been evolving as a person and growing. And uh, it's been good. I think it's been good. There isn't a issue in my head of calling myself an American. I'm not uh, denigrating the country or anything like that. I think today's a great day to celebrate everything that we have been gifted. Uh, you know, we won the lottery being born here, so we're certainly going to celebrate it. Um, of all of the liturgical calendar, you know, celebrations in the States, this is probably one of the best ones. Um, Memorial Day is up there as well, which we celebrated in May. Uh, but from scripture, there's a couple of verses about freedom that I thought are great to get in front of people. I certainly liked seeing them earlier today. Um, in Galatians, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. So that's Galatians 5.1. And I think a yoke of slavery, um, kind of what struck me most by that reading it this morning, it isn't chattel slavery, like we learn about in the States, you know, one of our country's greatest sins. Um, I believe the author is thinking more about sin and things that you allow to control your life. So uh, seven deadly sins, you know, you can run through the gambit. Any of those could be what is enslaving you, uh, pornography, actual women uh, for lust, um, gluttony. You know, it's very easy to overeat in the States, certainly on a day like today with celebrations. Uh, too many libations and uh, delicious foods could get the best of you today. But Christ has set us free. So stand firm. 
and don't fall into those traps. Don't yoke yourself with that slavery. I like that one. Thought I'd put it in front of you. This one uh, was a little bit more abstract, at least in how I read it. Um, not sure that Paul has this same translation. I didn't dig too deep into it, but in Romans, um, for one who has died has been set free from sin. That's Romans 6, 7. And I believe it is dying to oneself and uh, in following Christ, following God, changing the way that you are. Um, would allow you to be set free from your sins and that heavy debt that we all carry. So there you go. There's just a couple of verses uh, about freedom, mostly pertaining to to God and our relationship and uh, becoming better Christians, better humans, better men uh, from that regard. Um, but I think ultimately if we can do these things that we can pursue Christ and pursue a relationship with God we become better people and everyone thinks that the best way to save a country is with big large actions and civil wars and armies fighting armies and taking up arms but I think the most radical thing that we can do right now um, which might help is to just fix yourself so not necessarily a theo theological point or a faith-based point there. Um, if that's not your thing, I totally get it. Uh, like I talk about frequently, there are ways to have discussions with people uh, where you don't rely on the Bible for answers. I know I'm discussing verses here, but the message can be taken elsewhere in your life, uh, such as with abortion in that last episode. You don't necessarily need to hit somebody over the head with the Bible in order to refute why abortion is wrong uh, or have an explanation for why abortion is wrong. There's science, there's um, just logic it seems to help you in that discussion. So here I know I read from the New Testament from scripture on uh, escaping sin, um, dying to oneself and being set free from that debt that we all owe. That's been paid um, by Christ. But when you look at it just in your own life, what can you do? that you are beholden to. So it's, don't think about it as a yoke of slavery. Uh, you don't have to use that kind of language, but what are you doing day after day? That's certainly not helping you to contribute to becoming a better person, a uh, better mom, dad, brother, sister, son, uh, anything. What are you doing that is not, not contributing to your ultimate goal? Uh, if you wanna start a side hustle, start a side hustle. If you want to get faster, go for a run. Um, it's kind of simple when you put things in perspective. Uh, what's going to work to help you get towards that goal? I don't know what yours are. Mine were to start this podcast. Uh, things are going well. The video podcast seeing, seems to go well with that first episode up on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, taking some clips to make reels on Instagram. Uh, taking quotes from the show, start making graphics. Uh, I've gotten some feedback from listeners on things they want to see. So we'll try to deliver. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was start the store. So got that up as part of this whole process. Um, I think what has helped me most to continue uh, are those around me. Uh, so my wife is certainly my greatest supporter and I appreciate that support very much. Uh, there's people on Instagram that talk to me about how to improve the show, uh, and I just appreciate that support as well. There's whoever you are, listener, out there as well. Um, so just that is noticed and it is uh, appreciated, short and sweet of it. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to do this year um, that have, I think, made me a better person overall. I heard a story of this gentleman who wanted to set a goal to vlog every day, and he did so for three years and uh, caused some marital stress and uh, among other things in his life. But at the end of the three years, he could look back and see everything that he had created. So um, editing the videos, uh, growing his channel or however he distributed it. Um, I heard the story in passing, so forgive me for the details, but this guy created a uh, something great by sticking to it. Um, and that's certainly something that I need to do more of 
to be better at. But yeah, it's 4th of July. We're going to go out there and go to a carnival, I think. We're going to go party, have some some drinks, like I said, and uh, we'll celebrate. Very lucky to be in this country, um, even if we don't like the direction that it's going, even if it's not the first thing that we describe ourselves as anymore. Uh, This is where we call home, and uh, we're very grateful to be where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Just grateful. Grateful today. So I hope you can be too. I know there's a lot of noise out there on this or that, hating the country, loving the country. Um, I think as long as how the nation is going is not the foundation you stand upon. Uh, You're setting yourself up for success. So that's why I said first descriptor for me would be Christian, you know, followed by husband, dad, uh, other things, and then American. Um, I don't know if that makes sense as I say it, but it has helped me to think about things a little differently. Uh, Coming from a military background, um, you know, very proud of my service, grew as a, a person. I was just the feeble newborn, it seems, when I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, Had a lot to learn, and I'm grateful for that experience. Um, Nothing against the flag, like I said, nothing against the country. Uh, It doesn't even have anything to do with who's running it or, you know, your congressman. Um, I just think in the long run, if you're placing your faith in people, um, you're more often than not going to be let down especially if there are people. These are people that you can never speak to. (laughs) These aren't people that are actually in your life. So like the president, um, don't put much faith in whoever that person is. Uh, Put your faith in the people around you for sure. But I think there's things beyond this mortal realm, uh, as we've talked about. So if you can lead with and put your foundation, stand firm on uh, faith in Christ, I think you're, you're setting yourself up for success. So that would be my Independence Day message that we're going to wrap up with is, uh, again, from Galatians. It's for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm. Stand firm. Then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Give up whatever's dragging you down. Um, Start a new habit in the morning. Meditate. Pray. Read the scripture. Go for a run. Uh, And I think the rest of your day will follow suit. It's kind of a domino thing. That's it. That'll be it from me. Um, Don't forget about those Life Day shirts. Uh, we got everything else still up there if you want it. Uh, It's a great way to support the show. But the best thing that you can do would be to uh, share on social media because that's how the life works now. This is networking in 2022. (laughs) So whoever's out there, I hope you have a wonderful Independence Day. Thank God for you. Uh, He's blessed us all. And uh, remember, you're saved through Christ.